Hi everyone, welcome back to Sarah's Cookery Tips. Thanks for joining me today. Nice to see you. If you're new here, please like, share and subscribe. Subscribe by hitting the link underneath and pressing the bell for more notifications. Now today we're going to be making for you some coconut jam tarts. We're using the short crisp pastry, the sweet version that I've done on a previous video, which I will put a link to. So without further ado, let's crack on. Hi, so here we have the short crust pastry, the sweet one, which I used from the previous video. And um, I'm going to use the five centimeter cutter to cut them out and place in the pre-greased trays. Even though they are non-stick, I do like to just grease them just to make sure. This mixture um, roughly does about 12 of the tarts. Okay, so we're going to need the desiccated coconut, 60 grams, butter, 60 grams, caster sugar, 60 grams, one egg that's beaten, and 30 grams of self-raising flour and some vanilla essence. So in goes the butter and the caster sugar. So I'm going to mix this up so it becomes like a creamy looking texture. going to gradually add some egg and mix that in and then we're going to gradually add in the flour give it a good mix make sure you're getting it all from around the bowl lovely cream consistency and then we're going to add in the desiccated coconut we're going to do again this a little at a time and folding this in Keep doing it till we've used all the coconut. You can use ground almonds or ground rice and here I am adding the vanilla essence. If you was to use the almond mixture, almond essence would be ideal. Okay, as you can see, I've already placed the jam into the tartlet base. And now I'm going to fill the mixture on top. Making sure they do get good coverage. So we're going to place them in the preheated oven, 180 degrees for fan assisted, 200 degrees for conventional and gas mark 5. We're placing them in for 10 to 15 minutes or until golden brown. Now 
wow, didn't they look yummy and tasty they were too. So why not give them a go? The kids will love them. So um, just to say, you don't have to use coconut, you can use ground almonds, you can use ground rice, um, the preference is up to you. So let me know how you get on and if you choose a different option, let me know too. And I'll see you soon for more cookery tips.